Hey everybody, it's John Dando with Crawl Space Medic. We're out here today, we're gonna to be in some crawl spaces and it's getting colder out, it's almost Christmas and a lot of customers are starting to ask us, should I insulate my crawl space? And the answer to that is yes, but the answer is a little more complicated than just yes, you should. And so today what we wanna do is take you in a few different crawl spaces that are insulated different ways. Uh, there's three main ways to insulate a crawl space. Number one is traditional R19 fiberglass floor insulation. We'll look at that, talk about the pros and cons. Number two is closed cell spray foam on the foundation walls of a sealed crawl space. We'll look and talk about the pros and cons of that. And three is foam board insulation in a sealed crawl space. So we're gonna look at all three of these type, talk, talk about the pros and cons of insulating your crawl space this way. So come on, let's take a look um, and we'll let you know our perspective on insulating your crawl space. And we're here in our house that has traditional R19 fiberglass Florence bad insulation installed in between the joists. And this is in really good shape. Um, we'll show you some pictures and some videos of uh, insulation uh, that's in really bad shape. And there's some pros and some good things about this type of insulation. It does keep your floors warm. It does insulate your floors. Um, it's fairly cheap. It's really available um, at Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, it's easy to get. Some of the uh, bad things about or the cons of R19 floor insulation is if your crawl space is not conditioned or it's wet or it's moist or the ducts condensate, um, the first thing that's going to happen is this insulation is going to take on um, all the moisture and it's going to fall and it's going to get wet and it's going to get moldy. Another thing that happens with R19 insulation is if you get rodents in your crawl space, this insulation is very warm. It makes the perfect nest for squirrels. Uh, rats, mice, and it attracts um, rodents. Another thing um, that's a negative is it can cover a lot of damage. Uh, it's hard to see from a, cr from a crawl space expert perspective. You cannot see a lot of the framing under this house because it's covered in insulation. And so that can allow some of, whether it's a plumbing issue or termite damage, sometimes you cannot see it uh, until it's a lot worse because it's covered by this insulation. Anyway, those are some of the pros and cons of traditional R19 floor insulation. We talked about old fashioned traditional R19 floor insulation. We wanted to show you a way to insulate your foundation walls um, a different way that we really like. Um, and this is closed cell spray foam. And you can see it's been sprayed on the foundation wall. This is a sealed crawl space. And so there's a dehumidifier in here. It could be called an encapsulated crawl space. There's a dehumidifier in here and you've got an inch of this closed cell spray foam, which gives you the same R value is the floor insulation. And this creates a great seal down here. Um, which is a value. And then also, if you look up here, one of the things we love about this product is it allows us to move, remove all the old um, fiberglass floor insulation. You can see all the floor framing. So if there's any issues, it allows the floor framing to breathe. Uh, moisture doesn't get trapped up um, in the insulation um, that's there. And But your, your crawl space in your home is insulated below the same way it would be with floor insulation. So this is a great product. It's fairly new uh, to the construction, the crawl space industry. And we're starting to do this a lot and we're really happy about it with the results we've gotten. So thank you. That's another way uh, you can insulate your crawl space. One more thing is you can, you might wonder why is there a gap? Well, this gap is so your pest control guy might, it might be your, when he's doing his, your, your termite inspection, um, they're going to want a six inch gap on your foundation wall 
so they can expect, inspect for termite activity. So make sure if somebody does this for you that they leave a gap on your foundation wall in between the framing um, and the insulation. Hey guys, this is Greg with Crawl Space Medic. Um, in the other videos, you've seen John take a look at two other types of infinite insulation, your traditional floor insulation, which is fiberglass, R19 insulation, and then also uh, spray foam insulation that we install along the walls. Well, in this particular application, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we install foam board insulation. So, uh, and depending upon your climate and depending upon what kind of walls you have, if you have true foundation walls, which might be comprised of uh, CMU block foundation walls or brick walls, uh, another way you can um, create the same thermal efficiency in, in your home is by sealing your crawl space and installing a dehumidifier and then putting in what, what we have is reflective foam board insulation. So this foam board that's over here, this foam board insulation is uh, about two inches thick. So uh, it, it's applied to the walls and then uh, it has this barrier on the outside right here. This is a uh, reflective foil, bounces heat right off. And so when the dehumidifier is running, it's circulating heat all throughout the crawl space and doing so um, creates a, a, the same efficiency that you would have at R19 floor insulation. Now, one big pro on this is that once it's set on the walls, you don't have to worry about it. It's a good application when you have the option of removing your floor insulation. We typically install this whenever uh, floor insulation is removed for the purpose of fungal treatment. And once we apply the fungal treatment to the floor joists, this gets applied to the walls and uh, creates a good thermal efficiency. So just another way that you might have insulated crawl spaces uh, to create thermal efficiency that can work well when you are sealing the crawl space. So this is a a sealed crawl and we put in uh, this film board insulation which over a long time can can create good heat exchange within the crawl space uh, that translates to the floor system.